Hey everyone, here's our math problem for today. This is about Diophantine equation. Find the integer solutions of this equation. 3 raised to x minus 3 raised to y equals 234. You can pause the video and see if you can solve this Diophantine equation. Now, let's solve this problem together. We would like to emphasize that we are after the integer solutions for x and y here. If we do not put that restriction, and let's say we want to solve this over the set of real numbers, then we are going to get a lot of ordered pairs x, y that can satisfy this equation. However, if you are going to constrain the values of x and y to integers, that is, we have a Diophantine equation, then we'll be able to find limited values for x and y that can satisfy this Diophantine equation and that is what you would like to find in this problem. So let's do some simplification first. When solving for Diophantine equation we would like to as much as possible express both sides of the equation into products of integers. That is, express this left side as product of two expressions, this 234 as product of two integers. Notice that if I'm going to add negative y plus y to this exponent x, I am not changing its value because negative y plus y is just zero. So adding zero to any number will not change the value of the expression. However, this will give us the form where we can express the left side as product of two quantities. So let's group together x minus y as one group. Then if you recall the product law of exponents, when you multiply two exponential numbers with the same basis, you copy the common base and you add the exponent. Conversely, if you have an exponential number raised to the sum of two exponents, you can write that as the product in such a way that the first factor is the common base raised to the first exponent times the same base raised to the second exponent. Those two exponents are expressed as sum. Then in here, there are two terms. This is the first term and this is the second term. These terms are separated by the minus sign. Notice that 3 raised to y and 3 raised to y are common factors that we can factor out. So let's do that. Factoring out 3 raised to y, then the first term divided by that common factor resulted to this expression. Then the second term divided by itself resulted to 1. And we copy the minus sign. So we now have here a product of two quantities equals 234. Since we want y to be an integer and x to be an integer, if you raise 3 to an integer, the result is another integer. If you subtract two integers, x and y, the result is also another integer. And if you raise 3 to that integer, the result is another integer. And that result minus 1 would still result to another integer. Therefore, we now say that this expression here is an integer this other expression here is an integer, we have here a product of two integers. So, we need also to express 234 as product of two integers. And here are the different combinations of 234 expressed as product of two integers. 234 is divisible by 2, 234 is divisible by 3, divisible by 6, divisible by 9, and divisible by 18. So we have five combinations. Let's recall these combinations and we are going to have five cases here. The first case is when we have 2 times 117 equals 234. So we can replace this 234 by 2 times 117. Then this 3 raised to y is equated to the first integer factor here and the second one is equated to this 117 to arrive at this. Now looking at this expression 3 raised to y equals 2, there is no way for y to be an integer and 3 raised to that integer would result to 2. And therefore case number 1 will not give us the solution to this Diophantine equation. So let's proceed to case number 2. So equate the first factor to 9, the second factor to 26. 3 raised to y equals 9. So clearly y must be 2 so that 3 raised to 2 equals 9. Here, if y is 2, this becomes x minus 2 in the exponent, and we add 1 to both sides to get 26 plus 1 equals 27. Then 27 can be expressed as 3 raised to the third, and at the left side we have 3 raised to x minus 2. So we want to find the value of x so that 3 raised to x minus 2 equals 3 to the third. 
So that means this x must be 5, so that 5 minus 2 equals 3. So x equals 5, and we found one ordered pair solution of this Diophantine equation. Let's remember that value here. Then let's go to case number 3. So 3 raised to y equals 3, and the second factor here equals the 78. Then from here, 3 raised to y equals 1. That means y must be equal to 1. And we can substitute now this value of y of 1 here to get x minus 1 as the exponent. Then adding 1 to both sides, we have 79 at the right side. Now 79 cannot be expressed as powers of 3. That means we will not be able to get an integer value for x here. And again, this is not an acceptable solution because we want both the x and the y values to be integers. So let's proceed to the remaining two possible cases. So here is the fourth case. Do the same procedure. The first factor equated to 6, the second equated to 39. Then check what are the integer values for x and y. So from here, it's clear that y cannot be an integer because 3 to the first is 3, 3 to the second is 9, but what we have here is 6. So the y value here must be between 1 and 2. So again, this is not an acceptable case. And so we move to the last case when the first is equated to 18 and the second is equated to 13. Then let's check if y can be an integer here. 3 to the first is 3, 3 to the second is 9, 3 to the third is 27. 18 is between 9 and 27, so y must be between 2 and 3. So again, y is not an integer so this is not also the answer and therefore after exhausting all these different possible cases we found that the answer to this diophantine equation is the ordered pair x y equals 5 comma 2. to check if this answer is correct we can visualize using decimus graphing calculator this red curve is the graph of 3 raised to x minus 3 raised to y equals 234. And the ordered pair 5 comma 2 is this point that is on the curve and both of them are integers. Visual inspection would tell you that in this range there is no ordered pair x, y that are both integers that are on the red curve. But we do not know what is beyond here and what is beyond this point. But using more advanced tool like Wolfram Alpha, it's also confirmed that the integer solution to this Diophantine equation are indeed x equals 5 and y equals 2. And so we are confident that our answer is correct.